Hello everyone, um, today I'm going to show you how to take a screenshot for your screen in different ways. Mainly we have two applications, we can use them to take it. The first one is by default always available on Windows. If you go and look for a snipping tool, snipping tool is one of the common uh, software to take screenshot. So for example, I'm planning to take a screenshot, uh, let's say I have an evidence which is requiring to take a screenshot for a specific file with its all details, let's say this file. So I want to take a screenshot for this part. So by opening a snipping tool, I can click over the mode and it can show me here different settings. If I said freeform snip, then that will be like according to my selection, it can give me the screenshot. And over here, I can get it. And then what I can do, I just can copy it and I go to the file and I paste it there directly. Another way, which is rectangular snip, which is more flexible. So if you click on new, it will take you, let you take a snipping or take a screenshot according to the rectangle that you make it or select it. Okay, that's much better. That's the most commonly supposed to be used for IGCS AICD practical papers. The third form, which is window snip, this is very nice in case you have a window to take it. You just can simply click on window snip and then click on new. Let's say I want to take only for this window, so I just can click over this window and it will give me a screenshot for the whole window. Whatever window you need, even a sub window, it can take it easily for you. And then you just can copy it and paste it anywhere you like it. Let's say I would like to paste it over here, for example. So I go and I copy it and I can paste it control V over here. The second method, which is by using Windows shortcut, it is a built in function in Windows. So you have to press over Windows key, Shift and S and that is going to take the screenshot for you. For example, let's say we're going to take a screenshot for a specific file over here. So Windows key, Shift and S and then it will give me three options over here. Whether I wanted a rectangular snip or a free form or for a specific window that I want to take it or the whole screen and then you can crop it later as you like. So let's go with the rectangular snip and let's say we're going to take a screenshot for this file for example. So what happened it is saved in the clipboard and then you can paste it easily later anywhere you want it. Let's say I want to paste it over here so it come easily over here. I want to paste it in OneNote so easily it can be pasted in OneNote as much time as you want because it is saved in the clipboard and this is also supported through OneNote. If you notice in OneNote, you can find it also available over here. If you click on it, it will give you the option to take it and they will ask you where you want to paste it or you want just to keep it in the copy to the clipboard. And the third most common way is by pressing over print screen. Uh, there must be a button on your keyboard called PRTSCR and it is called print screen that will print out your whole screen. So let's say if I'm planning to print, uh, let me open this file so we can paste it over here a anywhere for example. Okay, let me open this evidence file. Let's say that we're going to paste it over here. So let's say if I press over print screen, so what will happen because I'm using two screen, both screens will be presented over here and pasted. But if I try, I just want to print specific window. So what I can do, I press over uh, Alt on my keyboard and then press over print screen. But before I press that, I have to make sure that I am selecting the window. So Alt, print screen, and then simply we can go and we can paste. If we paste it or control V or just paste it from here, that window will be appear. This is the third way, common way for using it. Then later, if you want to adjust it by cropping, you can easily crop it and adjust it according to your need. 
I hope you liked the video and you found it useful by using different software tools. If you have any question, you can put it in the comment section.